In the wake of the defeat of the M23 rebels, life is slowly returning to normal in parts of the Democratic Republic of Congo's Kivu region, with operators over there resuming operations rather, resuming in one of the most visited parks, the natural park Kahuzi Biega. Already some tourists are trooping in from various parts of the world, but that could be scuttled by renewed fighting if President Joseph Kabila insists on seeking a third term in office, and that could in turn give rise to a whole new host of armed groups in the region. The capture of the strategic town of Goma in Eastern Democratic Republic of Congo in November 2012 prompted travel bans to the region by the United States and other Western governments. This saw a major decline in the country's tourism sector, bringing to a halt operations in one of the most frequently visited national parks in South Kivu, Natural Park Kahuzi Biega. But following the defeat of M23 rebels, life is slowly returning to normal and the park has resumed operations. From the beginning of this month up to now, we welcomed 42 tourists, whereas I hadn't got any for the past two years. This shows that there is development and a huge promotion of this kind of tourism. Tourism is a source of employment to the locals, and the park's financial state is expected to gradually pick up as more tourists visit. Those revenues are beneficial to the country, and the neighboring populations also benefit from them. As for me, I work in the park, and it helps in paying school fees for my kids, and it brings growth and improvement to the country's economy. Those here are of utmost importance. Jean-Michel Dubois, a Belgian tourist who is visiting the park, said he will also use the opportunity to create awareness among the locals on the importance of preserving nature. We will make people aware one must maintain and preserve nature because if the gorillas are captured and killed, at the end nothing will be left. This is important for the region and for the population's well-being. With the return of peace in parts of Kivu, some domestic tourism is also set to grow. You see, as Congolese, we pay $200, and foreign visitors pay around $400. We call upon our Congolese brothers to come and visit the park to see what's happening in our environment and the job the conservancy workers are doing here. Another aspect I want to show is that we have a beautiful country. With everything, we must remain united. We must keep those assets we have so that even our children benefit from them, for this is a gift from nature. But the gains made by the park now face a new threat as public discontent with President Joseph Kabila's government grows and threatens to plunge the country into renewed turmoil. The country's opposition and activists are opposed to Kabila's third term in office, which could easily trigger more fighting. Lord Makugu, CCTV.